turning the cat over. One of the muscles on the top part of the leg, on the lateral side of the leg, is called the sartorius. This is the sartorius on this side. This muscle was cut at the end so it could be pulled up. The origin is the ilium. It inserts on the tibia, and its action is to cross the legs. Muscle 48 is the gracilis, which would cover the inside of the leg. Here is the other gracilis here that's been split. The origin is the pubis. It inserts on the tibia, and its actions are to flex the leg and adduct the thigh. Muscle 49 is called the tensor fasciolata. This is easy to identify because it has fascia still connected to the muscle. Its origin is the ilium. Its insertion is the fascia of the thigh, and its action is to flex and abduct the thigh. The tensor fascia lot on the other leg would be here. The next group of muscles are called the quadriceps femoris. And there are four different parts to this muscle. The rectus femoris is here in the middle. On the lateral side is the vastus lateralis. And on the medial side is the vastus medialis. If we lift the rectus femoris and look down deep under the rectus femoris, you will see the vastus intermedius. It is a deep muscle under the rectus femoris. On the other side, the muscle on the outside is the vastus lateralis. The muscle in the middle is the rectus femoris. And the muscle on the inside is the vastus medialis. And then down deep, the muscle under the rectus femoris is the vastus intermedius. And these four muscles together are the quadriceps femoris. Their origin is the ilium and the femur. They insert on the patella and the tibia, and the action is to extend the leg. These quadriceps are located under the sartorius muscle. To observe the next group of muscles, we will lift the gracilis aside, and then we will observe these muscles. The first muscle, which is right next to the blood vessel, is a real small muscle called the pectineus. This little muscle right here. Its origin is the pubis. It inserts on the femur and its actions are to flex, adduct, and rotate the thigh. The next muscle, number 52, is called the adductor longus. Adductor longus. Its origin is the pubis. It inserts on the femur, and its actions are to flex, adduct, and rotate the thigh. Muscle 53, which extends from here all the way to there. All of this is one muscle. This is called the adductor femoris in the cat. It's called the adductor magnus in man. 
but a ductor femoris and cat. The origin is the ischium. It inserts on the femur, and its action would be to adduct, rotate, and extend the thigh. The next muscle is the semimembranosus. Semimembranosus. Its origin is the ischium. It inserts on the tibia, and its action is to flex the leg and extend the thigh. The next muscle is called the semitendinosus. Its origin is the ischium. It inserts on the tibia, and its action is to flex the leg and extend the thigh. This same group of muscles on the other leg We'll look under the gracilis. Start back at the blood vessel. The first little muscle is the pectineus. The next muscle is the adductor longus. The next muscle run extending from here to here is the adductor femoris. The next muscle is the semimembranosus. And the last muscle here is called the semitendinosus. The last group of muscles that we will review are the muscles of the lower leg. The first muscle is called the gastrocnemius. It can be observed by cutting the uh, Achilles tendon. And then the gastrocnemius can be pulled up. It its origin is the femur, it inserts on the calcaneus, and its action is to flex the sole of the foot. The next muscle is the plantaris, and then the third muscle is the soleus. These go right in order. Gastrocnemius is on the top, then the plantaris, and then the soleus. The soleus origins are the fibula and the tibia. They insert on the calcaneus, and the action is to flex the sole of the foot. On the other leg, this first muscle is the gastrocnemius. The next muscle is the plantaris, and the bottom muscle is the soleus. The next muscle is called the tibialis anterior. It's right in front. And then the next muscle is called the extensor digitorum longus. And the third muscle on the outside of the leg is called the peroneus longus. Then if we turn this same leg and look on the inside, the muscle next to the bone is called the flexor digitorum longus. Then on the other leg, if we look at the muscle, right on top, it's the tibialis anterior. The second muscle on the outside is the extensor digitorum longus. And the third muscle on the outside is the peroneus longus. And if we turn and look at the inside of the leg, the muscle on next to the bone is called the flexor digitorum longus.